Hi, Steve Gamash with a Chef Knife to Go Quick Look product review. And in this version, we are looking at the Richmond Sakai White Number no. 2 Gyuto 240 millimeter knife. This line of knives has a core steel of Shiogami or White Paper Number no. 2 Reactive Carbon. The heat treats about 61 Rockwell on that core steel. And the construction is an iron reactive cladding over the top of that. Uh, white number two, and it does have a Kudauchi blacksmith finish over that that's kind of matte but smooth. The uh, weight on the knife is about 7.2 ounces, tw uh, 204 grams, and the blade length is around 232 for this one, so it's one of those undersized 240s. The overall length is about 375. The spine thickness above the chin heel area here is about 3.3 millimeter, and it maintains quite a bit of thickness. It does taper off just a little bit here. And then, of course, with the grind. But this is a fairly, I'd say it's a pretty darn stiff blade, and it's got some heft to it. So this is not a real skinny um, KU-style blade. It's got a little bit of heft. It's, it's really nicely ground, but it's definitely not super skinny. If you like a stiffer blade, this might be something to look at. The blade height on this is about uh, almost 50 millimeter at the heel. And uh, the handle is one of the uh, Isaiah Semi-Custom octagonal uh, maple wenge ferrule and about three inch circumference right here at that junction so pretty standard size let's take a little closer look at this knife so there's your KU finish and you've got chiseled kanji on this that's kind of delicate chiseling and the KU finish kind of fills some of that in but it is definitely there you've got kind of a sandblasted finish showing the edge steel these have um, some lacquer on them so out of the box edge, I'm not going to give it a high mark because the lacquer tends to go right to the edge. And so uh, you'll probably want to sharpen these right out of the box uh, or have somebody sharpen them for you if you don't sharpen. Um, they're probably not going to perform at their peak uh, with that lacquer on the edge. So if they don't feel sharp, it's because they're not steel there, it's lacquer. So anyway, clean that off and you'll have a great sharp edge. The um, handle install is really well done. Uh, fit and finish is real nice on these blades. And they've got uh, some relief back here. It's not super round, but it's enough where it doesn't bother me at least. And also on the spine. Uh, some people might want to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper, but I think it's pretty comfortable right out of the box. Let's take a look at the profile on the blade. So there's your edge profile on the knife. And your choil shot. It's not super skinny, but it does thin out pretty nicely towards the very edge. Let's put it on our board. So here's what it looks like on the cutting board. It goes into a little bit of a flat spot right there at the heel. And then you've got a fair amount of belly towards the tip. It's just kind of a pretty standard short 240 profile. And I start digging the tip in on this one about right there. So you can get some height if you need it. It rolls into that real nice. I would say it's not a super flat blade, but it's got a little bit of a flat spot towards the heel. Very smooth. I think kind of a good all-around profile. Not particularly flat, not super curvy, kind of middle of the road. Balance point on this. It's a fairly hefty blade, so the balance point, at least for me, was just a little bit in front of my pinch. Actually a fair amount. So there's the balance point, because the handle is fairly light, and the balance point for me, or the, the pinch point's about right there, balance point's up there. So it gives it kind of a heft to the blade, and again, it's got a, some thickness to the blade. Um, it flows through product pretty nicely, actually, though, despite that thickness. So if you want something with some stiffness and some integrity to it, um, and, you know, reasonable performance, good convexing non-stick properties... So it's a nice blade. It's really, really well crafted. The grinds are nice when you sight down the grind. Uh, it's, it's straight. It's, it's a nicely put together blade. So there you have a new series at this point in time. For our chef knives to go, the Richmond Sakai White Number no. 2 Gyoto 240mm knife.